Hey everybody, Chris here with Chris Cross Crafts. I've, I've been using these little snappy pilot counterboard bits for quite some time, and I like them. Um, but I wanted to get a stop collar on there, and every time I went to add a stop collar, I just I, I stopped, literally, because I just when you counterboard, you want a nice clean hole. Well, a lot of times those stop collars, when they make contact with the surface, because your bit is spinning, it's going to mar up that area. So I uh, picked me up this little snappy tools. Um, it's called a rotating depth stop. Uh, basically, it's got these little bearings in there. And, you know, I've been seeing a lot of videos online about the Amana Nomar bits. So I thought, well, you know what, let's compare them. You know, so I've got the snappy bearing system, and I have picked up an Amana Nomar bit, the 55227. So we'll compare the two, give it a review, and I'll let you know what I think. I mean, is it worth the extra money to go Amana? Or can you get them cheaper and do just as good? We'll see what happens. So uh, hang on and uh, we'll learn this together. Okay, so I wanna do this fair. Uh, I do know that I've had this for a little while, so I do not wanna compare the bit um, or the counter bore. Uh, two reasons, one, uh, I've, I've had this for, I don't know, six months or so, and I've used it for quite a bit. Two, on this Amana, it actually has carbide tips, so it's already at an a disadvantage. So as far as the bit goes, I know the bit and the counterboard uh, are by far going to be better than what the Snappy has. But I do want to compare the bearing system. And so let's kind of be honest about it, and let's see what happens. So inside the Snappy, you got a couple items. You get your bearing, you get a longer... Um, nut or screw to, to lock the stop collar on and you get a cover so you also get a couple of tools so let's see what we got so there we go and how this works essentially is this goes on here like that and then there is a stop collar that will go right there so you'll take this out replace it with this other one and that's how that's going to work so let's check out the Amana pretty simple Amana comes with a complete set now they do offer all of these components separately as well but I didn't have an Amana bit so I wanted one so why not so let's really well again what we're comparing is the bearing but you can see this is adjustable up and down so will this one be now the nice thing is uh, what a mana does is they give you one tool with the different size uh, hex heads on them so that's convenient so you only have to keep up with one allen wrench instead of a drawer full of uh, miscellaneous stuff that you get with a lot of things so i do like that right out of the gate plus it's different and unique so it's easier going to be easier for me to identify that uh, in a drawer full of those uh, all in all, right out of the package, we can kind of see real quick what we get. And their bearing system, essentially, if you add this and this, would equate to what they have there. So, let's carry on. Alright, so first things first, since this one's not assembled, let's go ahead and take this screw out. And I don't know what giant muscular man passing that on, but then he was strong. Yeah, we won't say who that is because we kind of already know. Alright, so let's slide this over. And that will line up with that. And we will insert the new screw. Okay, so how this works is this is a longer screw, so it's going to obviously protrude out. But what this does is this is your set screw for your pilot. So you dial in where you want your pilot, how far you'd like it to stick out beyond your uh, the point of your counter bore, and you get that locked in. Okay, so then you slide the bearing housing over that, and once you get that tight. Then you slide this nut over top of that one. And this allows you to adjust this where you need it. 
So you don't get a ton more bearing uh, pocket space, but you really don't need much because all you're doing is just creating a counterbore to, to lower the head of the screw below the surface. So anyway, you get this adjusted about where you want it. And usually I like to see mine just below the surface, which is about where that is. Then you take the larger wrench and I'm gonna kind of eyeball this right there. Take the larger wrench and lock that down. So we'll snug everything down good. Now you still have access through this nut to tighten and loosen the screw for the pilot, which is nice, I like that. So that gives you the ability to, to change the pilot length without adjusting your depth. So I wanna make sure that's snug. All right, so that's good to go. Now let's make sure that the Amana is set up very similarly. And you can see with the Amana, you have two options. So instead of using the same screw, they give you one screw to adjust the depth of your pilot and one screw to adjust the depth of your bearing. Now let's see what kind of um, adjustability we have on this. All right, so right out of the gate, I can tell you with this model, you're gonna get a lot more depth. So you can see almost that's, that's protruding down below the top of the counterbore. That's protruding in probably almost five sixteenths of an inch. So that's pretty good. So considerably more with the, than with the other albums. But, you know, not all the time are you gonna need that. So most of the time, like I said, I'm gonna have that set where that is just barely at the top of the counterbore. Let's lock that in. And let's just see how we are on both of these. And they look pretty close. Yep, so we'll go with that. That'll be our sort of testing uh, setup when we run this. All right, so let's give it a quick look here. On the two by four, you can see on the snappy side, there's a couple areas, and I just don't know how well that's gonna translate on the camera, but you can see a couple areas where that bearing kind of dug in and marred up the surface. I found one little spot there on the Amana side, um, very faint, but so the two by four, the Amana did a better, worse job on the cut quality, but a much better job with the bearing, which is really what we're after. On the piece of maple, I uh, didn't find anything major, but the cut quality of the Amana was really so much better. And the bearing uh, on the Snappy tended, it did okay. Uh, so I would say as far as bearing tests, um, the Amana won on that one. The particle, or the MDF, you can see the cut quality was definitely worse on the snappy side and you can see that uh, it's left a lot of raised burrs uh, so that that cutter on the amana did a better job but again we're after the bearing look and i'm not seeing any major damage on either one so that's a uh, even if we're just testing bearings now on the oak the amana side uh, i don't see any mar on either one of them I do, actually I do, I see a little bit of a mar right there on the snappy side, but I'm not seeing anything on the Amana. So on the oak, the bearing did a better job with the Amana. Now on the pre-finished drawer sides, this is the one where I thought I would really see 
some noticeable difference and I'm trying to reflect that so you can see what is happening in there and I'm not seeing really anything that's uh, concerning on either one other than the cut quality on the Amana is just drastically better uh, that carbide tip makes a world of difference on there so those are some basic materials you're probably going to run into a lot of so what about each of the bits so let's take a look at each one of them the bearing itself is very smooth operating here if you turn it like this and give it a little spin you actually can achieve a little bit of rotation after you let go uh, like that very clean very smooth and if i was going to own this bit which i do uh, you see those carbide tips that right there is going to give you a long life versus the high speed steel so let's look at the snapping you can see the the steel um, the bearing itself has just a little bit of friction during the rotation uh, it's not bad but you do feel that um, if you give it a spin you don't get hardly any rotation after the spin is done uh, so if you're just comparing the two price point this is definitely going to be good for the money uh, if you're looking for quality and longevity i believe my choice would be the amana uh, there may be a little preferential uh, in that there so this wasn't an official you know test uh, but i did want to see the difference between the two and overall uh, if i'm looking for a bit that's going to last me a long time i do like this my only concern would be this is beefy looking but it's really not any bigger in diameter than the snappy so comparing the two this looks like it's a monster but they're the same diameter so you can't gain it there but anyway there you go uh, my not so professional test results uh, using the uh, mana no more bit versus the snappy bit with their bearing system um, either way you go i don't think you'd be disappointed but i really like that I mean, One quick thing that I did notice when I was doing this testing, notice in the slow-mo, the Amana Nomar bit, there's no loading in the bearing or in the bit area. Um, I think due to that open design, it does really well, and it's a little flatter on the inside. However, take a look at how the um, snappy loads in the bearing area. Uh, one drill, that's not going to probably cause any issues, but I could see over time, if you're drilling multiple holes, that loading that just fell out, could potentially be a problem. Just some side note I noticed.